Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rattle Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Giorgio Armani, part of its subsidiary brand Emporio Armani, and the fragrance is called Stronger With You, so stay tuned. This fragrance was released in June of 2017. The perfumer is Cecile Matten, who has done Baby Doll by Yves Saint Laurent, and also Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. Now this fragrance is part of a duo of fragrances. So we have Stronger With You, and then there's another one that's marketed for women called Because It's You. And in the O for the word you, it kind of looks like, a, like two rings, and they're uh, overlapping one another, kind of like a Venn diagram. I think it's a pretty cool concept, like a couple. These are the fragrances that you would wear to match each other and uh, I'm excited to talk to you about this fragrance that you unfortunately can't buy in stores just yet. You can only buy it online on Macy's website. Uh, but let's go ahead and start things off by taking a closer look at the presentation. So the presentation for this one is pretty cool. On the box here, you have like these uh, sort of um, overlapping leather straps and that's also found on the cap of the bottle here. It's actually built into the cap. Half of it is on the neck, half of it is on the cap and it clicks perfectly into place. I love that about this one. I think the name for it is pretty cool, even though I'm still trying to make sense of it somewhat. And the atomizer on this one, distribution is okay. Let's go ahead and continue with the smell. Now, there are a few notes in here that really caught my attention, and they are cardamom, vanilla, and chestnut. Now, I know we have sage, we have some woods, we have a lot of other notes in there as well, but it's really the vanilla and the chestnut that caught my attention. I thought this was going to be a sweet, nutty sort of scent, and in many ways it is. And then I looked online and I was reading some of the written reviews, and a lot of people didn't have the nicest things to say about it, which kind of surprises me. Now, with this fragrance in particular, when it opens up, you are going to get a familiar element to it. And what I mean is this is an accord that's been used in a lot of other fragrances. I'm talking about Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. I'm talking about CK Obsessed, not Obsession, but Obsessed. A lot of fragrances out there have this sweet sort of, dare I say, bubblegum nuance about them. And although this one doesn't smell explicitly or implicitly like bubblegum, it kind of gives off that vibe. It just has a sweet vibe about it. Now, I think this is a fragrance that's going to work really, really well if you are a fan of those sweeter type fragrances. I'm talking about CH Privé by Carolina Herrera, One Million Privé, uh, Invictus Aqua Extreme. If you like those fragrances, you are going to like this one. And I didn't mean to say Invictus Aqua Extreme. I meant to say Invictus Extreme or Invictus Intense. I forget. There are so many flankers, so many designations, so many subcategories that it's easy to, to lose track. With this fragrance in particular, the juice inside the bottle conveys pretty well what this one is going to smell like. It's going to be a dark, sweet, slightly, slightly spicy scent. Now the spices in here, like the cardamom, they're not overwhelming, and it's not evocative of other fragrances that are beloved fragrances in the community that contain cardamom. I'm talking about uh, La Nuit de Lomb by Yves Saint Laurent, or any, I know there was a By Early by Parfum de Marly. That one also has a cardamom note in there, and I think it's done gorgeously. This one, on the other hand, uh, the spices aren't that strong. It's really more about the sweet nuances. Now, again, if you like those sweet scents, I think you're gonna like this one. I had my wife sm uh, smell this one when I was wearing it, and she really liked it. But she's also, you know, one who mm, kind of leans towards either the sweet scents or the citrusy aquatic scents. So, of course, this one fell uh, within one of those two genres. So, uh, I personally think that this is a really nice scent but it doesn't reinvent the wheel. It doesn't do things that differently. And I'm kind of surprised as to why this can only be purchased online. I was even at the Macy's in Herald Square in uh, New York City, and they didn't have this one. So this can only be purchased online. But let's go ahead and finish off the review by taking a look at my overall assessment. Now, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, while the overall smell is very pleasant, I don't think this fragrance is too unique in the sense that it does smell similar to a lot of other fragrances that are being released nowadays. And I'm talking about Invictus and One Million and Obsessed. As far as longevity goes, you're going to get about seven hours. Projection was great for the first hour and a half, but it does have a lot of base notes in here, so it didn't project that strongly. Uh, but for the time that it does project, you are going to get notice, and it is a rather dense composition. Now, as far as the versatility, I think I would wear this one dressed up just because it has that sweet vibe to it. 
For more casual scents, I prefer to go for the lighter, crisper, citrusy scents. Uh, so this one works, would work, in my opinion, really well for a night out or a formal scenario. I think this one would work really well in the fall. And I think anybody of any age can wear this one as well. And despite the fact that it's marketed for men, I think this one can be unisex too. Now, as far as presentation goes, I think it's pretty cool. I like how this uh, wraparound is embedded into the cap. I think the concept is also pretty cool. I want to know where they got those names from though, Stronger With You and Because It's You, because it doesn't make that much sense to me, but I think it's a cool concept nonetheless. I dig it. And uh, my final verdict on this one is I like the scent. Um, I don't love it, and I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but I do like it. I don't think it's a bad scent. I've never seen Armani release a bad scent. Even going back to like, uh, I don't know, Code or Aquadigio or Armani Mania even. I liked Armani Mania. So uh, I think this one is another great scent from Armani. And I think if you have a, t a chance to try it somewhere, um, I would recommend you try it. If you're a fan of fragrances like One Million and Invictus and Calvin Klein's New Fragrance Obsessed, I think you're gonna like this one. But if you're not a fan of sweet fragrances, the vanilla does dominate a little bit too much in here, so you might wanna steer clear of this one. But uh, anyways, that was my review of Stronger With You by Emporio Armani. If you own or have tried this scent, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you've tried its counterpart, because of you or because it's you, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way you never miss any of my future content. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.